Okay, so before I start this video, I just want to thank everyone that turned up to my live stream the other night. And as this video is going to show you, uh, people was requesting Daphne. So Daphne is an emulator which emulates 1980s and even 90s games, arcade games, and these were on Laserdisc. So maybe you're too young. Um, I think most people my age, which is always 40 now, haven't actually heard of Laserdisc. So very briefly, Laserdisc was a type of media that films were put on uh, before DVD came along and Laserdisc was roughly the same size as a record, a 12 inch vinyl record. So anyway, during the 80s, specifically 1983, my birth year, uh, we had Dragon's Lair and this is a very popular game and there was other games put onto Laserdisc format for the arcade such as Space Ace. So I've looked into this emulator today and Granted, it's taken me a little bit of time to figure this one out, but I've done it. And this is going to show you how to get up and running with Daphne through RetroBat. So check this one out. Okay, first things first, like I always say, if you like what you see today and you've not subscribed, please subscribe and hit notifications and also like. That will get you up-to-date content as I upload it. And just to remind you, I also cover other front-end systems such as Batacera, Launchbox, Playnite, Retroarch, and even standalone emulators such as PlayStation 3 and microcomputers such as Commodore 64. Pretty much anything retro based I cover here on my channel. Let's get on with this. What we're going to do first is go into the RetroBat directory. So just right click on this, open file location. Uh, we're going to go to BatGUI. And this is what I always recommend back to you. This is a really good reference point to show you which file extensions we need for systems within RetroBat. So if I just go to system list and at the top here we've got system. Now just be mindful if you don't see what I see just here, please follow my comprehensive setup guide, which is just over 13,000 views right now in the space of a couple of months really grateful for the amount of views and likes that one's had it's obviously helped a lot of people out so follow that guide uh, if you can see what i can see here by scrolling down we're going to find daphne and under extensions we got dot daphne dot action max dot seven zip dot zip dot roar dot squash fs so these are your game file extensions that your games need to be added in now the strange thing with daphne is that we actually need to put games files into two places rather than one which is very commonplace in RetroBat. most things go into the roms folder it's a little bit different with daphne and you'll see why soon uh, we also got cores libretro uh, as you can see we've got new cores which is going to support this in RetroBat. so we need to go into RetroBat and download the actual emulator so let's close back gui down so let's open up RetroBat. And also to remind you before I open up RetroBat, you can actually buy a copy of Dragon's Lair over on Steam. And if you really want to get it at a cheaper price than it already is on Steam, which is currently at £8.50 or $9.99 if you're in the States, uh, you'll find other websites on the internet to purchase a digital copy of this from. It's totally worth your money and I highly recommend it. It's a classic. Okay, so once we're in RetroBat, then what we're going to do is just scroll up to RetroBat. And if we scroll down, this is all your emulators that you can download inside of RetroBat. And the one we're looking for here is Daphne Loader. So if we just install this, we'll just click on it. And you'll get a little prompt up to install it. So I'm using my cursor here to press yes. And here we go. So you're going to get this little pop-up, Fatal Error, that's okay. And you're also going to get the emulator exited unexpectedly again just press ok on this so we've now downloaded the emulator so we can exit our retro bat so main menu and quit okay so what we're going to do next is go back to the retro bat directory so just right click on that shortcut again open file location and we're going to scroll down to roms 
And again, we're going to scroll down to Daphne. And inside of Daphne, we're going to pop in one of these game folders I got. And this one's titled Lair.Daphne. So if you remember from back to UI under the file extensions, one of them said Daphne, and we also need a dot .zip. So inside of my Lair.Daphne folder, we're going to find these contents. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop the layer.daphne and remember this isn't zipped inside of the ROMs Daphne folder like this. And what I'm going to do next then is open up Retrobat again. And this time, we're going to find Daphne. So if we go into Daphne, we're going to find Lair. And what I'm going to do is just open this. Save me! And that's fine. So if we just exit again out of here and quit Retrobat, so go to quit. As we can see in the Retrobat ROMs folder now, it's just generated a new folder and we've also got a .txt, that's fine, that's what we need. So inside of this ROMs folder that it's just created, we're just going to click inside this one. Now in my layer.zip, I've got a few different files here. So firstly, what I'm going to do is just copy these files inside. And let's just close out of this one. And I'm also going to drag in this layer.zip. And we're going to back out of this and back out again and back out again. So we're in the root directory now of Retrobat. And if we go down to emulators, we're going to find Daphne. So if we go inside Daphne, we're going to find another ROMs inside of here. And all we got in here is a readme.txt. So what I'm going to do is also copy some files which I've just pasted elsewhere in Retrobat. And these are the Dragon Slayer u1.bin files. So if you remember just a minute ago, I also put these into the ROMs folder. So what we're going to do next is open up Retrobat. And if we go into Daphne again, we can now see two layers. So obviously we don't need duplicates of this. So the way around this is if I press backspace on my keyboard, if I just go down to view customization and right at the bottom, you're going to find file extensions. If we go into this and just uncheck dot zip like I've just done, go to back and back again. And now as we can see, we've only got one file, which is our game. So before I boot this one up, let's grab some artwork. So enter and I'm going to go to scraper and just scrape this, which shouldn't take too long. And scrape and finish, so we're going to go up to game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we go, awesome stuff. So we're ready to boot up our game, so I'm going to just go into this. Dragon's Lair, the fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has enchanted it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the Dragon Slayer. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. So as we can see, that boots up fine. And also, if we go into view options, advanced system options, uh, make sure emulator is selected is Daphne. And if we go to shader set, you've obviously got your regular shaders just here to make things a bit more retro looking, such as curvature, which turns it into an old school CRT mode. I'm gonna just leave this to auto. We also got the option of decorations here, but as you've just seen, 
it doesn't really need decoration so I suggest leaving this to none which I leave on auto we also got aspect ratio so if you did want to put decorations on this make sure you put your game into 4x3 aspect ratio if you put decorations on and say it's 16 by 9 your image is going to be just cropped so let's just leave this one to auto now in terms of controlling these games I personally use the keyboard for this I can't seem to get my controller working so let's go back into the game again and let me go through the controls with this for you as we see just a minute ago if we go to advanced system options normally you would find controls just there but as you can see laser disc uh, Daphne doesn't have this so let's open up the game again So the digit 6 on my keyboard is inserting coins and I press digit 1 to start the game as player 1. So that's pretty much it for today's Daphne setup guide. Like I've been saying, it's not particularly the easiest Retrobat system to set up. So if you're new to my channel and this has helped you out and you liked what you've seen today, be sure to hit subscribe, hit notifications and like. And also be sure to check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. And also I'm asking for donations for my channel at the moment. I'm trying to expand my channel to include portable systems so I can do the equivalent of Retrobat or even Retrobat itself on portable devices just to expand my channel into branch out in different directions. So anyways, until next time, stay retro.